Hey guys, Sean here. Another pyro project for the weekend. I went ahead and, uh, well, a lot of you guys know that I built all those 62mm uh, racks. Well, when I tested one, I found that it was kind of a pain to uh, clean it out and I have to tape in the fuse like right about there. So, being that these are only so wide, it's kind of hard to get my hand on. So, I'm routing out a slot to do that. I figured I'd show you guys the process here. Yes, I smoke. It's a bad habit, but whatever. So, I went ahead and made this insert here. This is going to be uh, part of my jig. Um, I didn't have enough material to make a whole jig that goes over the top, so I just used that. So I'll go ahead and clamp that in. that down on the uh, jig on the table, and I'm going to drill a hole, a spade bit, starter. Alright. So we'll route it out. I've had this router since I was probably 20 years old. show you the inside here. See I got a couple rough spots. That's just because I'm using this OSB in here. Uh, that's all I had, but who cares? Big deal. It's going to get burnt up anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go ahead and take that out. Pop this up. Pull the clamps off. Sawdust. Take my sand block. There. So now that, oh, gotta shut this off. All right. I only get one radio station. <laughs> well, all right. So there you go. Um, a lot, a lot easier way to uh, clean out. Tape on the fuse, etc. Um, I'm probably going to end up drilling a hole right in the center here, um, just for another fusing option. Uh, I've got some ideas that I want to run. We'll test it out. So, anyway, there you go, guys. Um, simple, quick, easy. Uh, all I'm using is well, scrap wood for my jig. Got my old quarter cable 690 router running a flush turn bit like that. A couple of clamps. And there you go. So. All right, talk to you later.